support. The maestro, please! Last record rundown of summer, and it sure didn't disappoint. This'll be for the week of September 21st, 2024. On this day of music back in 1975, Fame by David Bowie would be released. It would go on to become his first number one in the United States. One of only two, the other one being Let's Dance. <laughs> Number nine from Max Richter, a bit of a throwback stylistically, kind of more in the vein of 2004's The Blue Notebooks. The big thing, though, is that he's actually set to go on his first ever world tour. From the Boston Arts Academy, we have the Spiritual Ensemble, and this is the first time that the Boston Public Schools have a music ensemble that has been on a billboard chart at number one, both classical and classical crossover. Don't mean a thing if it ain't got that swing. I mean, it didn't get into the top five, but there's a newly Charlie and Vince Guaraldi release back from 1972 that hopefully makes it into the top five because it's very poignant, especially as we approach November. Singing Solo album number five for David Gilmore, outside of his work with obviously Pink Floyd. Fun fact about this one, his wife, Polly Sampson, a well-known novelist, actually did majority of the lyrics on this album. Throwback to 2016, Frank Ocean's legendary album, Blonde, popping up back into the top five on the R&B and hip hop charts. Most notably because on Apple Music's 100 Best Albums, Blonde got to number five. So the Frank Ocean fans are really hoping for something new from him, given the surge in popularity. <laughs> Studio album number four from Fred again. He said it himself, this album is literally 10 songs about 10 days. Given there are 20 tracks on the album, but that's because each day has like a short prelude that plays before it. And now I need some help from the maestro, please. For a fortnight, there we were together running to the surf. Honestly, the most shocking thing about this album so far is that it has still yet to go platinum in the US, despite going platinum in 10 other countries, and some of those are two, and in one case, three times platinum. I know that last night we let the liquor talk, I can't remember everything we said. Meanwhile, this thing's sitting at five times platinum in the US. Honestly, if no one has done it yet, there should be a mashup album between this and the David Bowie album, The Rise and Fall of a Midwest Princess, and The Rise and Fall of Ziggy Stardust, and The Spiders from Mars. Forgot to mention it last week, but they released the fourth single for this album, What Don't Belong to Me. Please, 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 don't prove I'm right. Similarly speaking, this week they released the fourth single from this album, Bed Chem. And that wraps up summer. It managed to give us more than three to end on. I guess we'll see how fall starts us off next week. And now I need some help, I don't want to please.